welcome back students to the second part of g petal's poem on killing a tree in the first part the first two sections that means first two stanzas are discussed in this part we will read the last two stanzas of the poem okay so our today's lesson is the last two stanzas of g petal's poem on killing a tree on g petal's poem on killing a tree on killing a tree the last two stanzas the poet has said that it is not an easy task to kill a tree it is a very difficult task to kill a tree why because the tree itself has its unique way of healing the tree itself can heal the wounds the injuries the heart so it is not an easy task what is the third stanza begins with no no it is not an easy task no the root is to be pulled out pull out of the anchoring art it is to be roped tied and pulled out snapped out or pulled out entirely out from the earth cave and the strength of the tree exposed the source white and wet the most sensitive hidden for years inside the earth so this is the third stanza of the poem on killing a tree no the root is to be pulled out out of the anchoring earth it is to be roped tied and pulled out snapped out or pulled out entirely out from the earth cave and the strength of the tree exposed the source white and wet the most sensitive hidden for years inside the earth and this is the second reading of the third stanza now i'll request you to read the stanza once again before further discussion is initiated i hope you have read the stanza of your own now come now underline and learn a few words which may appear difficult a bit to you see their spelling and the pronunciation too the first one is anchoring anchoring means it's an example of present participle example of present present what is present participle the ing form of the verb when this ing form of the verb is used as an adjective it is called present participle you may take another example a running bus a running running is present participle here is working as an adjective 
adjective of the noun bus so here the uh, it is anchoring anchoring uh, is working here as an adjective an adjective to the noun earth so now the meaning anchoring art means the art which is anchoring which is holding so anchoring means holding actually out of the anchoring art out of the art which is anchoring the tree which is holding the tree which is controlling the tree so this is anchoring anchoring the art okay the root anchoring the root is to be pulled out out of the anchoring art the art is disturbing so separate the root from the art which is holding them holding it the holding art the anchoring art next one snapped out snapped out means what snapped out means taken out with sudden force here in plain english you can say that broken out snapped out cut out cut out with sudden sudden force is snapped out now next word or phrase is earthquake earthquake what do you mean by earthquake Earth cave means the cave made of earth. Earth means soil. It is imagined here that the earth has its caves under the ground from where the tree has come out from under the ground of the earth. So it is imagined the earth has its cave shelter for the tree. So earth cave, earth is a noun. and cave is a noun but together it is you know already that is noun nominal compound compound of two nouns noun plus noun nominal compound the cave made under the earth like ceiling fan iron gate these are the examples of nominal compound so this is art cave next one is exposed exposed means uncovered uncovered or revealed uncovered or revealed okay and you may underline this white and wet what it means white the white and wet it refers to the roots of the tree as they are under the soil under the ground that means they were they were hidden from the sunlight for this this is white and they are damp soaked for this is a wet wet means strange they were soaked so white and wet refers to the root of the roots of the tree now then go come here no this is a very simple word but it is saying something what is it saying it is saying that mere a jab of the knife can kill a tree hacking and chopping also can do the job this is what the word no is saying mere a jab of the knife can kill a tree hacking and chopping also can do anything to kill the tree so this word is very very important no with this question may be asked what is the meaning of the word no the poet is saying no it is not possible to kill a tree by mere jab of the knife or by hacking and chopping 
so what's to be done the root is to be pulled out pull the root of the tree out pull the root of the tree out pull you know pull and push the root is to be pulled out out of the anchoring earth out of the earth that is holding the root and so it is to be roped bind it with the rope tied it is to be roped and it is clarified tied it is to be tied it is to be roped comma tied means it is to be roped actually it is to be tied and pulled out and at least snapped out cut it from the ground like this snapped out immediately the poet is saying snapped out or pulled out entirely not snapped out pulled out with all its roots pull out entirely see the tone very, very sarcastic tone pull out entirely not snapped out pull out entirely out out from the earth came from under the ground of the earth totally with all its roots from the earth earth came and when it is done when it is pulled out entirely with all its roots the strength of the tree exposed the strength of the tree is out is revealed the source of the strength of the tree is revealed the source what is the source the white and wet the white and wet source of strength of the tree that means the roots of the tree are exposed are, are pulled out the most sensitive the roots are the most sensitive part of the tree so most sensitive part of the tree the root roots are exposed are out are pulled out out of the earth cave on the ground the earth the soil and the tree are now separated so the roots are the most sensitive part they were hidden for years the roots were hidden for years inside the earth okay so the poet is saying in the very third stranger that it is not possible to kill the tree with a simple jab of the knife or by hacking or chopping as it is not possible to kill a tree with the jab of the knife or by hacking and chopping the roots of the tree are to be pulled out are to be pulled out of the anchoring earth so the tree is to be roped so the tree is to be tied with the rope and then it will be pulled out or snapped out alternatively the poet suggest alternatively the tree is to be pulled out entirely from the ground as a result its roots the source of its strength and energy will be separated from the ground under which they were hidden for years this is what the poet says in the very third stanza of the poem now the fourth stanza let's read it carefully and with it we'll get the total meaning of the poem the totality of the meaning of the poem will be complete with the completion of the reading of the last stanza so let's read in the third stanza the poet said that pull out the tree entirely is to it it is to be pulled out entirely and when it is pulled out entirely only the matter of scorching and choking all these things is left and when that one is performed the total thing is performed this is what the poet is saying in the last stanza of the poem for this he begins the poem with 
then the matter of scorching and choking in sun and air, browning, hardening, twisting, withering, and then it is done. Read again. Then the matter of scorching and choking in sun and air, browning, hardening, twisting, withering, and then it is done. And then it is done. So now, see what do you mean by scorching? Scorching means, you know, scorching means burning. Scorching means burning. That means drying in the sun. Burning, drying in the sun. So, scorching in the sun and choking in the air, the stopping its breath. Choking means stopping. Stopping. Stopping its breath. As the roots are separated from the soil, it is killed. It cannot breathe anymore. It cannot breathe it anymore. It cannot take breath anymore. Choking. Stopping. That is browning. Browning means what? Browning means making brown. Brown in the sunlight. Making brown. Hardening means making hard. Twisting. Twisting means wrink twisting, wrinkling, drying, deforming, withering. It is also drying. Then it is done. Then the process is complete. The process of killing the tree is complete. So then the matter of scorching and choking in sun and air. That means then the tree will be scorched and choked in sun and air. The tree is now pulled out. After that it is to be scorched and choked in sun and air. Browning and hardening. Browning and hardening. It will turn brown in the sun and it will turn hard. All its soft parts will be hard, will be turned, will be hardened, and will be made hard in the sun. Automatically it is drying and drying, it will be deforming, twisting, it will be twisted, it will be withered, thinned, and then it is done, then the work is accomplished, complete, the destruction is complete then it is done the work is finished then it is done this part is very important for your examination what is done the process of killing a tree is done then it is done so what the poet is saying in the third stanza is that the tree has been pulled out of the ground the killing of the tree is finished and for the completion of the matter, the tree is to be scorched and choked in the sun, in the air. The tree will turn brown, its color will change, its softness will go, it will turn hard, it will become hard, it will be twisted, withered and with all these, the killing process. The process of killing a tree will be complete. The process of killing a tree will be complete. So this is the end of your poem and this is the end of the discussion of the last two stanzas of the poem. Now we will go to the question answer section. For multiple choice questions I have told you already. Now take the help of any good book on the market. You will get there a lot of questions and their answers, a lot of explanations, so many things that will help you much. 
and through this process of teaching it won't be possible to cover all these sides of the poem all the sides of question and answers you need so one help book is also necessary and for short answer type questions you have to read the poems the stanzas again and again very well you have to understand the meaning of the words the meaning of the line the meaning of the whole stanza as a whole then it will be easy yet i am here giving you a few questions few questions a few essay type questions short answer type questions what according to the battle is the most sensitive the most sensitive part of a tree one question b what is needed to kill a tree what is needed to kill a tree C and then it is done what act is referred to here what scorch and choke the tree after it is pulled out what type of poem is on killing a tree these are the few short answer type questions along with these questions you keep yourself ready with a lot of other questions also now on a two long questions descriptive descriptive type questions one very common question is give the substance of the poem on killing a huh? another common question justify the title of the poem on 
one killing a tree. Another question why does it take much time to kill a tree kill a tree question mark how is the tree finally killed it was given in the year 2015 another question this was given in 2016 the question how does a tree tree offer resistance the resistance to its destruction how does its resistance fail it was given in 2017 another question the poem on killing a tree describes man's cruelty and violence to nature discuss these are the few questions you must keep ready for your examination and if these questions are ready you can answer from the answers of all these questions you can answer any question i think with a few exceptions so students this is the end of the lesson of the poem on killing a tree hope to see you again later with a new lesson